Why is the MPX so underrated in Escape from Tarkov? Today we take a closer look about a pretty decent SMG in Escape from Tarkov. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys, good to see you again and this video is all about the MPX in Escape from Tarkov and I made a survey with over 700 votes right on this channel, what is the most favorite MP in Escape from Tarkov and you can clearly see the MPX is the loser right here, but in my opinion the MPX is pretty underrated and I will show you why. So let's jump right into the builds, grab a drink or two, let's start. So guys, I made two builds for you which are pretty cheap and pretty decent and I will show you the stats right now. On the right side we have the little bit more recoil version and on the left side we have a pretty decent recoil version but with less ergonomics. So let's start with the right one. We only have 31 vertical recoil but 75 ergonomics and that is great. Especially if we can see how cheap it is. And I will show you of course the details later on. On the left side it is a little bit more expensive, but we will talk about that also. We have a 29 vertical recoil and 57 ergonomics and this is also great. Of course you can combine both kits with each other. So what should you do right now? In my opinion, and that's why we have to check Peacekeeper, of course I would recommend go for the MP5. The stock MP5 is great also. MP5 SD also very great, you can get it from Peacekeeper level 2 and you have to finish the scrap metal quest. But you can also grab the normal MPX which is also pretty decent. Just mount a foregrip on it, maybe you can change the stock and you are good to go. Look at the stats, it is pretty good, especially for 390 bucks it is very very good in my opinion. But if you have Peacekeeper level 3 you can get the MPX for 540 bucks and the stats are pretty good. Look at that guys, this is a stock MPX and you have only 32 vertical recoil and this is great. In my opinion you are very good to go with the MPX. You have a little bit more, 50 rounds more per minute with the MPX and it's also quite quiet, so I like the MPX. The Moe stock right now is also pretty cheap and it's one of the best stocks in the game. Don't forget the rubber butt pad. You can put a Hera arm script on it to get a little bit more ergonomics. Ambers on the rear side. You don't have to change anything in terms of the barrel because it has the built-in integrated suppressor which is very good. And the thing is, if you would mount the best grip in the game like the RK2, you would lose 10 ergonomics and only gain one recoil. That's because how the recoil attachments works in Escape from Tarkov. I can do a video about recoil and stats and attachments if you like. Furthermore, if you compare it with the shift grip, you only would gain two more ergonomics, which isn't that much, but the shift grip is much more expensive. So the MPX is great for a very good gun and you are saving a lot of money because you don't need that much um, attachments for it. So the other build is also pretty neat because you have a little bit less recoil. Of course, as I said, you can change um, some stuff over here, but this is a little bit more uh, recoil controlling build. So if you have access to the MPX, you should have access to the RK2 grip from Skier and you can buy the rest from the flea market or you have access to the PRS stock. So this build is also pretty neat. I like that one because I like the low recoil. I like low recoil stuff. But there is no big difference between 29 and 41 recoil, so you can mix it if you want to get the best out of it. Of course, you should force to get the advanced tube. The advanced tube is pretty great because you will lose 4% recoil, so the advanced tube is very, very important for that build. Those two budget builds don't have the advanced tube because the advanced tube right now is pretty expensive if you can't buy it. If you can't buy it, it's only 10k, which is nothing, but if you can't buy it, as you can see, there is no advanced tube on the flea. That's why it's a little bit expensive. So let's start with the magazines. Of course, 30 round mags aren't that bad, but I would recommend if you can buy the MPX SD, you should buy the 41 round mags. These are great. I love them because you don't have that much minus ergonomics and you have a check modifier plus 50% or let's say minus 50%. You can check your mag quite faster. Later on you will get 50 rounders and these are also pretty pretty great. So I like the combination with the 41 and 50 rounders. So what I usually do is like carrying one or two 50 rounders, 50 round drum in my Gamma and carry two 41 
in my weapon or in my rig. So right now ammunition, same for me, like all SMGs with 9mm, GT and PSD, it's really a personal preference with G. So in theory you have minus 6 recoil and furthermore you have like a visual assistant um, which can help you with aiming a little bit better. I like that you should try GT, it's pretty damn cheap. Also PST, it's not bad, you have a little bit more penetration, but my go-to is AP63. It is a little bit expensive, but you can buy it from Peacekeeper for five bucks. Five bucks is okay, you should be a little bit quick. Uh, most of the times it's sold out right now, I should be lucky. It was, it was quite hard sometimes to get the AP rounds and very brutal is 7 and 31. But with 7 and 30, 31 you will get a little bit more recoil, so I'm not sure about which is my most favorite. I like both 7 and 31 and AP63, both are great for the MPX. So if you can find the advanced tube in RAID, I wouldn't sell it, play it, because you will have the biggest benefits out of it. Upgrade is the advanced tube, so go for that. Um, in terms of sights, the EOTech is great. The PKO-6 is great, some high-mounted RMR is also very good. I'm a little bit disappointed about the Vortex in Escape from Tarkov. The Vortex will give you minus 4 ergonomics, in my opinion. That's not good. Um, the EOTech only minus 2, but the Vortex Razor is IRL a pretty decent scope. I like that very much, IRL. But in Tarkov, minus 4 ergo, I don't get a point out of it. So play a RMR, PK or EOTech. It really depends on what you like. So let's compare the recoil real quick. We have the 29 vertical recoil version over here. First round, as always, no recoil control. And look at that, guys. No recoil control. This is pretty, pretty decent, pretty good. So one more round, recoil controlled. So we still have this small jumpiness, but this gun is insane, it is very very good and it is pretty cheap to make, so in my opinion go for the MPX right now, try that out because it is very underrated and there is no reason for it. So quick summary for the MPX, in my opinion as I said all the time very underrated, is you can make a very very cheap build out of it and this thing is insane, you have 50 more rounds per minute compared to the MP5 almost the same cost of course the mp5 is a little bit cheaper but the 50 round mp5 max are a little bit more expensive it depends on you can buy two 50 round max from mechanic every reset and the thing is with the mpx you have very high ergonomics as i said 50 rounds per minute more so you can play very aggressive with this high ergo low recoil version and the thing is your barrel is quite short this gun is quite short and you are highly effective with it so the thing is I'm going to do a top 3 MPX build video because you can also play a very long barrel in a medium barrel version but I wouldn't do that but I will show you some builds about the MPX because IRL and in Escape from Tarkov I like the MPX and I want to show that to you guys that the MPX is quite quite good so if you want to play some different weapons play the MPX because this thing is good and I don't know why this is so underrated. Maybe it's because early on the PP19 and the MP5 are dominating and later on the Vector. But the Vector will be boring after a couple of raids and I like the MPX sound, I like the handling with the MPX and I like that you can modify the MPX quite well in different shapes and with the vector you can't unfortunately right now and that's why i only can recommend the mpx to you guys it is a little bit unique but you will have success in escape from tarkov with this firearm so try it out and please give me feedback how do you like the mpx and how you like this video so guys you are crazy thank you for your support do not forget to like this video and see you in the next one bye